What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the NFL. More NFL um, tier rankings. Now we're doing offensive line. You know, a lot of videos, but the end goal, of course, is to get to the one main thing. NFL predictions. Yeah, they're coming out soon. Either way, like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the NFL. We're doing more tier rankings today. We're going to have to do a lot of them before predictions because, of course, NFL starts in less than a week. So, yeah, <laughs> I got some other videos I want to do. So, for the end of the line, what is going to start off? It's a run blocking unit, of course. It's more run blocking. So, I'm not going to be I'm going to be grading overall. So, of course, it's one of the best run blocking units in the NFL. And it's really not even close. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Either way, they just have a really, really, really good run blocking unit. Like, pass blocking is bad. Either way, Taylor Luan's a good, versatile. Same with Robert Sapp, who's one of the most versatile um, guards in the NFL. Ben Jones is also a good center. Uh, Ty, um, Ty Sambrio, Sambriano isn't really great. Kendall Lamb isn't great either. Like, you think you probably want Dylan Radons, but the thing is, he'll probably start there. He's a rookie. I'm going to give him a B. No way. I, never mind. I need to make another row. I just realized that. Okay, either way. Yeah, um, they have a really good offensive line. It's one of the best in the league. Definitely top 10. Because there's a difference between a good offensive line and a great offensive line. They have a great offensive line. Definitely more run block focus, but still a good offensive line. Now we go to the Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins, like, they changed it up a little. They definitely got, they got a new center in um, Matt Skira. Here's the thing about their offensive line. I'll say this. Jesse Davis, Robert Hunt, Michael Dieter, uh, Liam Eikenberg. He's actually not that bad. Austin Jackson. Like, I like some of their guys. Like, what I like who they have. I'm going to give them a poop. Here's why. It's so bad. I have to admit that. Like, Jesse Davis is terrible. Robert Hunt is not great. Um, Michael Dieter is awful. Salmon Kinley is terrible. Liam Eichenberg, I really don't know what I'm going to get. Austin Jackson's is a below average tackle you can put in there. He won't stink. He'll be fine, but just really bad. Like, there's not many, there's no talent on the offensive line where that guy's going to be able to block whoever. And that's not how it. Team that does have that, though, is the Browns because they have one, they have probably the best offensive line in the NFL. Here's why. Um, Jack Conklin, Jedrick Wills, probably the best tackle duo in the NFL, it's other than maybe the Saints. Either way, Jedrick Wills is a rookie last year. He played pretty well. He'll be playing, he'll be big, a huge jump this year. I expect him to be a second team all pro. Jack Conklin, he's an all pro tackle, a really good player. Joe Batonio, Wyatt Taylor, probably the two of the best guards in the run blocking guards in the NFL. They're awesome. JT Treader is awesome, too. He's a really good center. It's just solid all over that offensive line. It improved so much, and it proved a lot, a lot this year. So now let's go to the Jaguars. So the Jaguars used to be like a B offensive line in 2017. Then it was like a C for the past couple of years. But then it was terrible last year, and it doesn't look in preseason. Like, here's the thing. It's really it's, – it's worse than – honestly, it looks worse than the Bengals, if you ask me. So, like, that's the thing. I'll just tell you the guys. So, Cam Robinson, they franchise tag him. There's a good chance, unless he doesn't, he steps it up, he's not going to be the starter. He, he's not going to be on the team next year. But Cam Robinson is not a bad player. He's not great. Andrew Norwell, Brandon Linder, they're fine. AJ Khan, Juwan Taylor, not great. I'm going to give him a D. I'm going to give him a D. Because they, not an F because some of the guys on there actually aren't that bad. But they're just not a very good offensive line. So for the for a wall like those are that's the best a couple of the best offensive lines in the NFL. I'm only gonna put three teams there, and I already have two in mind. I, I'm gonna think of the third team, just like because not off the top of my head. But now go to the Lions. The Lions is the best part of their team. It's pretty simple. Uh, the Panay Sewell he hasn't played well. If he does, um, I hope he will play well in the preseason. It's just preseason. He will play fine. Um, Jonah Jackson, T Taylor Decker are fine. Frank Nairagno is the best center in the NFL. Um. How about Ovita? He's not great. Doesn't really change my opinion that they have the, one of the best offensive lines in the NFL. Top five, top six, good offensive line. Vikings. Um, Vikings, it's kind of hard to judge the Vikings offensive line, if I have to be completely honest. Here's why. The Vikings have a guy named Rashad Hill, a left tackle. And no offense to him, but he's not going to start. Christian Darisaw is there. He, he's actually play, He's going to play better than... Um, 
So all the other tackles in the NFL. Uh, Urza of uh, Cleveland isn't that bad. He's not great, but he does his job. Garrett Bradbury, of course, he's an inconsistent center. But Wyatt Davis and Oli o- Oda aren't great. Brian O'Neill's fine. I'm going to give his offensive line a C. It, can- it has the potential to be a B, definitely. With Brian O'Neill, Christian Darius, uh, Garrett Bradbury, Urza Cre- Cleveland. They just need a better right ta- guard. They're glaring need there. Um, now we go to the Bucks. The Bucks. I can't call it a wall yet because I'm going to just say straight up, they have, they could have three All-Pros in this line. Tristan Wirfs, Ryan Jensen, and Ali Marpet are three of the best offensive linemen in the NFL. They're so good. Alex Kappa, Donovan Smith, not the greatest, but they do their job. They're not bad. If I have to give them, I'm going to give them an A. Such a good offensive line. Not like It's not great, but it's a really good offensive line. Now we go to the Niners. Here's the thing about the Niners' offensive line. The Niners' O-line is... Very going to be very inconsistent. I'll say that. Mike McGlinchey is okay. Trent Williams is a great po- tackle. Those two guys are really good. Lincoln Tomlinson is the best guy I have in the middle. Alex Mack isn't bad. But Aaron Banks is terrible. I have to make him look really bad. Tom Thompson might have to start. Jalen Moore, uh, of course not. But So, I'm going to give him a B. No, I, I have to give him the B because they have they have they have two really good tackles, really good two really good guys on the inside. It's not a, it's actually a pretty, it's not a bad offensive line. They have a lot of star power that really helps, but it's not the greatest offensive line. Now to the Falcons, who actually have a pretty darn bad offensive line. Uh, Jake Matthews, he's he's been solid. Um, with Matt Gano, uh, with Matt Gano, uh, out for the a while. Josh Andrews scores on IR. Um, Drew D- uh, Dalman will actually have to start, so probably want to get Jalen Mayfield in there. But he's not going to be great. They, the right, left guards are biggest need. Center's not great. Matt Hennessy's not good. Chris Lindstrom, Caleb McGarry are fine. I'm going to give this offensive line a C. Probably deserves a D because they have such a glaring need. But they still have two really good guys on the right side. That really convinces my opinion. Uh, Baltimore. Baltimore, it's it, it's still an elite offensive line. Like, Ronnie Stanley, even even before he got after before he got hurt, he was playing at an elite level. Uh, ben Powers, not a bad player. But from uh, Ben Cleveland there, but he's out right now. He will he missed a couple weeks. But just pretend Ben Cleveland's in there. He's they're gonna have a really good left side. Bradley Bozeman's a, gonna be a good center. Kevin Zeidler, Alejandro Villanueva, the free agent signings are good. I'm gonna give him an A here. They have a really good offensive line. Bears, Bears. Ugh, I don't like. Them. Everyone's over exaggerating. It's really not as bad as people think. Elijah Wilkinson is not good. Jason Peters will have to start at times. Tevin Jenkins out for the season. You, when you have Cody White here, Sam Mustafer, James Daniel, Jeremy, uh, Jermaine Fetty, here's the thing. They are so thin in the offensive line. I can't give them an F, though. I'm going to give them a, I'm going to give them a D for now. Like, here's the thing. If they, they're going to have to, if their team is healthy, their offensive line is healthy, they're getting a C, but it's not healthy, and they're very thin, so they get the D. And also, I know I'm not mentioning depth, but... It should be unannounced if the offensive line has depth or not. I'm giving them a D. They probably deserve a C. You know, I'm going to just give them a C. Because they have, t- like, here's the thing. James Daniels, Cody White here, those are two really good guards. And they've never, really never gotten hurt. Ta- le- ta- left tackle is not a problem, really. It's not, it, it's it's going to be, like, rotating. Uh, I have to give them, but uh, it's going to be a rotating circle of James, uh, P- James P- Jason Peters and Elijah Wilkinson. But Sam Mustafer and Jeremiah Fetty are not good players. I have to get, I can't, I just don't want to give them a D because they just don't deserve it. They have good offensive linemen that just don't deserve it. No, I already did, I just did the Bengals. I said they were a D, they deserve it. They were, they used to be an F, but they played a little better, I guess. Okay, Dallas Cowboys, they are not a wall anymore. They probably will be, but I can't just give it to them. Leo Collins, Tyler Biadosh, Connor Williams, Tyron Smith, they're all good. Zach Martin, too. Like, Tyler Bidosh is the only one where I'm like, eh? Otherwise, it's an A. It's such a good offensive line. It's one, still one of the best in the league. I just can't give them the wall anymore. They used to be the best in the league. Travis Frederick. Those four guys were just so good. Texans. Texans' offensive line is terrible. It's one of the worst in the league. It's not the worst. Like, Titus Howard, Larry Tunch will really do back that up. But Justin McCray, Justin Britt, and Max Irving have no backups. That just sh- says something. They have Jerron Christian Jr. on their team. Senior on their team. They're getting an F. They have a, a poop. I don't care about their tackles. They have a really bad offensive line. They just have no depth. Like, they have even less depth than the Bears. How does that happen? Like, I really don't. I'm disregarding from Blair Ray Tunsil. They don't really have a good offensive line. Now we go to the Colts. The Colts' offensive line, simply said, is still amazing. Like, I don't know what's wrong with Quentin Nelson, but when he goes out there, he's good. Eric Fisher and 
Quentin Nelson, Ryan Kelly, and Braden Smith are all really good players. Mark Lewinsky has been uh, decent in his career. The Colts have a wall. It's like, it's, no, not the Broncos. We'll talk about the Broncos later. The Colts have a wall. It's like, it's really not even close. They have just such a good offensive line. It's honestly probably better than the Browns. Okay, now we go to the Rams. The Rams offensive line is underrated. It's not good, I have to admit. It's really not that good. Robin Havenson, Andrew Whitworth. Like, we could literally have Tremaine Ingram or Joe uh, Novum start, and it wouldn't really be that much different. I'm just joking. But Andrew Whitworth is the best offensive lineman on the team. Rob Havenstein, solid. David Edwards, Austin Corbett really turned around and been really good players. It's really thin, I have to admit. Not very, not a ton of depth. Center Brian Allen. We'll see how it works. I hope it's not bad. I'm going to give our offensive line a B, though, because of the PFF grade we got last year. There's a lot of scheming. I got to give us a B because we don't deserve a C from what we played last year. But if the Rams actually do play good on the offensive line, again, they're going to get a B again. Here's why. It, like, I know they don't have depth, but if they play like they did in 2019, they're going to get, like, a C. Here's the thing. Their offensive line is not bad. People got to realize it. Chargers. Chargers, it's actually not – there's actually a decent amount of depth. I have to admit that. Like, maybe there's not a ton of guys, but they have depth. Matt Filer and LaShawn Slater, they're not bad at all. Corey Lindsley, of course, one of the best centers in the NFL. Brian Bulaga is fine. And then Ode Obashi is uh, questionable, to say the least. Um, I'm going to give him a C. Not going to give him a B because their offensive line has never played good uh, since 2018, to say, just to be honest. Now I go to the Chiefs. The Chiefs' offensive line is not as stacked as people want it to be. It's going to be good, but... Man, if people are just, like, hyping it up, like, it's not going to be as great as people think. There's a reason they don't run the ball that much. Orlando Brown, he's a great tackle. Not amazing, but he's still really good. Joe Tooney is a really good player. Creed Humphrey, not bad. Austin Blythe probably should play there. La Lauren Duvernay Tardif, also not bad. He's going to start. So, and then you have, well, Trey Smith and Lucas Niang are going to start right now. But they're not those, those two guys actually are pretty good. They've actually sh showed me something. I'm going to give the Chiefs offense on a B. It was absolutely trash in the Super Bowl. It was D during the season. Um, it's, and they made, like, three really big additions. They got a guy back where I'm like, that offensive line is really good. Now, it's still overhyped, though. Like, the Rams' offensive line in terms of scheme is ten times better with a lot less good players. And, it's, and they have a ton of depth there, too. They have a lot of depth in their offensive line. I'll give them that. Saints. The Saints' offensive line is awesome. It's still awesome. It's probably the best in the league. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah, I'm going to give them it. Like, that's one of the best parts of their team. They're going to have to run the ball like the heck out of Alvin Kamara. Teron, um, Teron Armstead, Ryan Ramchick, best tackle doing the NFL. Andrews Pete, Cesar Ruiz, Eric McCoy. Those two got all of those guys are solid. So Cesar Ruiz is the only one who's a little bit questionable. Now we go to the Giants. Giants, got to admit your offensive line is still terrible. Nick Gates is not a good center. He's not bad, he's just not great. Shane Lemieux is awful. He's so bad. Nate Solder should get cut. Andrew uh, Thomas is really bad. Bill Hernandez and Matt Perk are the only ones that I like. Matt Perk is the one to you, but either way. Matt Perk's not a bad player. I'm going to give him a D because it's really not as it's, – it's terrible, but it's really not, like, as bad as it used to be. The Eagles' offensive line is actually pretty good. Again, it's probably the best – these bad teams, it's probably the best parts of them. Like, I can't give them a – the wall because they don't or even an A to tell you the truth because Lane Johnson, Brandon Bush, Jason Kelsey, they're old. They're still really good players. They're just not the same guys. They're like Jordan Milad is fine. Isaac Amalu is injury prone. Just to say how injured it is, I'm gonna give him a B. It's bet it's so it's more talented than any of these offensive lines. I'll just put them as ahead of everyone. But what I just want to say is the, the, the offensive line is old, injury-prone, and not great. I still got to give them a good grade, though, because it's not a bad offensive line. Steelers. Uh, Steelers are going to have a really bad offensive line again. Chihuahua Local 4 is not a bad player, but he's not great. Kevin Dotson's nah. J.C. Han uh, Hansenwer, he can snap the ball. That's about it. Trey Turner's not bad. Joe Haig, oof. Their offensive line is really bad. <laughs> Like, Zach Bonner in there probably moves off to a D, but it's really bad. Trey, Trey Turner and Chumo Wokofor are the only guys from, like, those guys may be able to start. Trey Turner, of course, being their best offensive lineman. Packers used to be an A, used to be a wall. Not anymore. Like, Elton Jenkins is going to have to start at left tackle because David Bakhtiari is hurt. Say David Bakhtiari is playing. They have actually decent depth on their offensive line. It's really not as bad as people think. Lucas Packers is going to have to start at left guard. 
Either way, let's just say it's normal. David Bakhtiari, the best left tackle in the league. Like Elton Yankins, one of the best guards in the league. So they have their two guys there. Of course, he's out. I'm just saying for now. Center, jo well, if I agree to like it is now, disregarding their best uh, offensive lineman. I'd say Elton Jenkins, he could be left tackle, would be that. Lucas Patrick, Josh Myers, I don't hate it, but it's not going to be great. Royce uh, Newman and Billy Turner, terrible. I'm going to give their offensive line a C. But I have to give, I, I have to, you know what, I'm going to give them a C. Here's why. With David Bakhtiari, they're an, they're an A. Without him right now, they're going to be bad. Billy Turner is not a, is not a right is a right tackle for now. He's not going to be bad. He's just not going to be a run block. Royce Newman, he should not be starting. Like they're just going to be missing that left tackle there. But either way, Panthers, Aaron Rodgers, they should be fine honestly because they're going to be able to run the ball. But either way, now we go to the Panthers. Panthers offensive line isn't bad. It's just not great. Cameron Irving's terrible. Pat Elfline's not bad. Matt Perry's not bad. Taylor Moen, good player. Sean Miller's really tough. Same with Michael Jordan. It's really tough to grade this offensive line, to tell you the truth. But I'm gonna just give them the. I'm just gonna give them the old-fashioned seat because they have good offensive linemen, bad offensive linemen. It's kind of simple. Raiders. The Raiders absolutely decimated their offensive line for being one of the best to about average. Like Colin Miller is a great left tackle. Richie Ocken, Incognito, disregarding the person he is, he's they're a good offensive line. Andre James, Nick Martin, it's not great. They have actually have really good depth. Like, Brandon Parker's not bad. John Simpson's not great. But in the middle, like, they had his question in center. Denzel Good's actually a good player. Alex Leatherwood, I'm not mad about. And he's actually playing decent. Jeremiah Alenomore, he won't be bad. But I got to give him this. I got to still give him a B. Like, tackles are set. Guards are set. Center's the only question. It's a good offensive line still, somehow. Washington. Washington uh, is tough to grade, really. It actually is. Because. Their tackles are absolutely one of the worst in the league, to tell you the truth. Like, Charles Leno Jr. isn't bad. He's just not very good anymore. Sam Cosme is not bad a player at all. Not a bad prospect, but he just needs to develop. Wes Schwitz, uh, Schweitzer is not bad. Chase Rullier, Brandon Scherf. Brandon Scherf's amazing. I'm going to give him a... I got to give him a C because you can't have Sam Cosme and Charles Leno actually thinking they're going to be good. But either way, Cardinals. Cardinals, um... Be very quick on the Cardinals. Actually, like, really quick. Rodney Hudson, best center, one of the best centers in the NFL. T.J. Humphrey's overpaid, but fine. Justin Pugh, good player. Kelvin Beecham, under, uh, a below average. Justin Murray, bad. Um, again, I'm going to give their, this offensive line a C. It's like, it got a little better, but it's still not great. Bills. Bills, uh, Bills are actually a really good offensive line. Do um, Deion Dawkins is a really good tackle. John Feliciano is a good player. Mitch Morse, one of the best centers in the NFL. Cody Ford, underrated. Daryl Williams, bounce back. I'm going to give him a B. Like, it's above average, is not great. Uh, Seahawks still have a terrible offensive line. It's not F like it used to be, but it's still not good. Like, Gabe Jackson does help a little. But, like, why am I on the Cardinals? Either way, um, talking about the Seahawks. Brandon Shell, Dwayne Brown. Dwayne Brown's a good player. Damian Lewis, another good player. Those two guys are gonna could be hurt. You don't want Kyle Four and Stone for uh Forsyth. Like I said, about the Cardinals, they have some depth, not a ton of depth. But like, sorry I'm not talking about depth that much, but these teams are in their category, not just a lot of it's depth. I just want to tell you that. You gotta think. Like A Wall, they have depth. I know I'm going over starters, I just don't want to make you guys here for an hour. Either way, the offensive line. It's like their starters are fine, their backups are terrible. Uh, Ethan Pokey, he's been a solid center for them. He hasn't been great, but he does his job. Gabe Jackson, like I said, he's a really solid player. And Brandon Chell's not great. I'm going to give him a D. It's definitely worse than all the offensive linemen above, uh, lines above him, but they're not really that bad compared to the D, uh, Fs. Now we go to the Jets. The Jets' offensive line is actually not as bad as it used to be. Makai Becton, they actually have depth like. Parker, I mean, not Parker, like, they literally, their four tackles are all on, um, IR. Either way, Dan Feeney, uh, and Morgan Moses, if they have to go in, they won't stink. Here's the thing, uh, teams are gonna have to, are gonna have to sign offensive linemen, it's pretty simple, as I speak. Either way, Mekhi Becton and Elijah Vera Tucker, two really good young prospects, I hope they're gonna be really good. Mekhi Becton, of course, can be a superstar. Connor McGovern, he's gonna be solid, so he won't be great. Greg Van Rowan's always been average. G George Fant, Morgan Moses, we'll see how that works out. Either way, I'm gonna give him a D. 
No, I'm gonna give them a C. They probably deserve a B in a couple of years because of their, their uh, left side of their offensive line. But man, it's just about development at this point. Uh, for the Patriots, the Patriots offensive line is absolutely amazing. Isaiah Wynn, as injury prone as he is, when he's out there, he's solid. Mike Mike on Wenu is their best is their young best offensive lineman. Dave Andrews, Ted Karras, Yazir Durant, Justin Huron, like. Their backups are actually pretty good, too. David Andrews, really good center. Shaq Mason, really good guard. Trent Brown, really good tackle. I'm going to give them an A. Can't give them the wall because I haven't seen them perform together yet. So I'm just going to keep them there. Broncos, Broncos are last. Here's the thing about the Broncos. I got to, like, go to the roster, of course. But either way, the Broncos, I like their offensive line. I don't hate it. Like, it's not great, of course. The Broncos, okay. Bobby Massey, Garrett Bowles with their tackle. There's another camera friendly. Right, whatever, this is glitch. Niti Muti is a backup for some reason. Quinn Meer, uh, Meerts, and, Manhurts and uh, uh, Calvin Anderson are their backups. I don't hate the backups at all. It's actually pretty decent depth. Cameron Fleming, what am I saying? He's not great, but he goes and he won't stink. Garrett Bowles, one of the best left tackles in the league after he just said, I'm going to be good <laughs> in that hold. Dalton Risner, Lloyd Cushenberry, Graham Glasnow, Bobby Massey, all good starters. They get a B. Really underrated offensive line. It's not great, but it does its job. Either way, like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. And of course, got more tier rankings coming out right after this. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video.